Well, welcome back to Midday. We have Chef Wayne Wong joining us from Attaboy Memphis Barbecue Restaurant, which is, of course, over at the Ramada Hotel. Uh, and we are cooking in the kitchen, and it smells delicious. I always say this. I wish people could smell this, but they can't. But we'll tell you what it smells like. Delicious. Um, Chef Wayne Wong, thanks for being here. You right. are giving us an insight into your special beef brisket, I guess, right? Yes, I am. Okay, let's talk about it. So you've got it right here. Yep. Um, how is it prepared? What do you need to do? What are sort of your first steps? First steps, clean it all up, pat it dry, and then I use um, French mustard, uh, yellow mustard on it, massage it all, both sides. Okay. And then I um, put Montreal steak spice on it, pat it down, both sides, and then I place it into my smoker and cook it for 12 hours at 225. And we use April, apple hickory pellets. Yum. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, why it smells so good. Because so you've already kind of pre-prepared this for us because, of course, we don't have a, a whole lot of time. But um, that's you did that then 12 hours ago, if yeah, you will, right? This is pretty fresh. Yes, yeah, so it's ready to go for today. Okay, well, take us through how you uh, whip up this delicious... Um, dish and, and the sides that all go with it. Perfect. Well, it's cut, it's come in half, and then it's going to slowly come in with their slices. So that's cooked perfectly. Look at that. So you have to make sure that these are kind of thinly sliced then? Yes. Okay. If it was too thick of a slice, they will be uh, a little tougher on the eating. Okay. And uh, beef brisket comes in two sizes. A regular is uh, six ounces of meat, and then a large is uh, ten ounces of meat. Oh, wow. So do you have those options for both? Yes, we do. You do? Okay. All right. So after you have sliced it all up, um, you I, I'm just going to assume that there's a lot of barbecue sauce involved in this. Yes, there is. Okay. There's a lot of barbecue sauce. <laughs> That's a safe guess, right? Yep. <laughs> Put it in. Add a little barbecue sauce. This is your homemade barbecue sauce, right? Yes, it is. Okay. You won't give us the recipe. We're trying, but... We're trying. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can't give us all your secrets. Everything's house-made. All right. Mix it all up. And then we're just going to add a little bit of... Butter. So what kind of bun is this, then? It's a brioche bun. Okay. Is that the best to serve it on? Or, I mean, why would you choose that? <laughs> it's a good bun. It's the... Yeah? It's a good bun. Soft. Okay. Just place the meat on top. So you don't even cut it? Nope. Wow. Stays whole. Smells so good. Oh my goodness, you guys. Height. It's all for height. <laughs> there this, we go. So that's a, a lot of meat. <laughs> that is a lot of meat. So, wow. Ballpark. Yum, yum. And then we mix our coleslaw. Okay. Again, a, a dressing that is house made? Yes it is. What's your, so a dressing, is it very creamy? Would you say that the most popular coleslaw ones are creamy? Yes, I've, are. I've had some coleslaws with a base that, you know, it's more of a vinegar, vinegar base. Yes. There's two kinds. Yeah. yeah. But you go for the creamy we one? We use the creamy one. So. Okay. And then do you serve this inside the bun or? You can have it on the, on the protein. Okay. On the brisket or you can have it on the side. Okay. Either or works, uh, I guess, your you preference. Bet. Yep. So it, all about height. I love how you say that. So this is this is your goal here, isn't it, Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> to get it as tall as you can. You bet. <laughs> Just place the cover on them. So you're not going to make this very easy for people to eat. Nope. But it looks good. <laughs> yes, it is. It comes can with you, a... Can you see that? That looks so delicious. Comes with these... Chips. Homemade chippers. I feel like this is like your... This is a, a signature over at Attaboy. These chips. These chippers. Yes. Yes, I've seen these in, in many of your dishes. Yes. Delish. There you Perfect. Go. Look at that, everybody. Yum. So fantastic. Uh, so things are good at the restaurant then, Wayne. Yes, they and are. Uh, I know that we were kind of chatting a little bit uh, off camera about changes of menu, but you're not quite there yet. You guys aren't changing uh, too much just yet. But as we head into spring and summer, yes. things could be um, added to the menu. Yes, we are. We're, going, we're thinking about adding more uh, bowls, rice bowls, pasta bowls. Um, we're going to infuse our barbecue menu into our breakfast menu now. Oh, delicious. So we're going to combine everything so we'll have, uh, instead of steak and eggs, you'll have brisket and eggs, uh, pulled pork bennies. So we're just going to cross over and bring uh, smoke, 
smokehouse menu into the breakfast side now. Yummy. Excellent. All right. Well, we so appreciate you doing this for us. Uh, fantastic as always. And uh, for more information, you can go to the Ramada's website there, their phone number as well, or just pop over to the hotel itself and you can eat at both uh, Attaboy Memphis Barbecue, the City View Lounge, and uh, try this uh, delicious brisket and many more items on the menu. We're back in a moment here on Midday. Stay with us.